Marriage with the ball. And now coming through the middle. And Johnny Kenny once more was on the shoulder. Degby Ega, the player in the way. Rovers threatening. Still Shamrock Rovers. Graham Burke looking for room to get the shot away, which he does. And he's caught it well. It's come off a defender. Rovers still have it. Graham Burke still looking for room for the shot, and he's got it away. Oh, and it struck the, the bottom of the post. And away to some sort of safety, but Rovers will try and recycle it here. Chance for Rovers once more. In it goes. Corner kick for Shamrock Rovers. The closest we've come to a goal. And Rovers strike the draw the United Post. And that's what they would have expected, as I said. When it's quicker, they're more dangerous. Graham Burke, brilliant, weaves on the edge of the box. Strikes. Hits the centre half, comes back out. Shamrock Rovers with a corner kick, right footed, out swinger, flicked away. It's going to break on the edge of the penalty area, back in, headed towards goal. Away once more by Drogheda, another corner kick, yet another corner kick. It was Marcus Boom with the shot. They've got a rally together now and just, it's another corner, it's a ninth corner of the game. They've got a rally together now and just and just make sure Rovers don't score in this period. Drogheda United getting plenty of set-piece practice at Weaver's Park. start of this second half. He'll try and make this one count. Right-footed, in it goes to the centre. Oh, and it's missed by Colin McCabe. And have they pushed it in? They have, Rovers. And it's a calamity on the Drogheda United goal line. It's celebration for Shamrock Rovers. They won't care one bit about that. Rovers are in the lead. Eight minutes into the second half. It's Trotty United nil, Shamrock Rovers won. We ask, can they sustain, can they keep the clean sheet under this pressure? But you know what? It's a calamity from the goalkeeper, isn't it? There's nothing anyone can do about it. He's, he's, he's made his decision. He's tried to come out and punch. You'll see it now again. Colin McCabe comes, and it looked like he'd got there. Ball still had to be forced over the line, and it was by Graham Burke, perhaps with the help of Emmanuel Adegbayega. We'll see who the goal will be given to, but Graham Burke, who scored the Shamrock Rovers goal last week, has got the Shamrock Rovers goal this week. Shamrock Rovers lead by one to nil. Yeah, and does his little dance and delivers it into the front post. Headed away, Burn will return it into the mixer again. And he does, and it's well, oh. it's in, is it? No, it's over. It's struck the crossbar and gone over. Lee Grace with the effort, another very presentable effort. For Shamrock Rovers and really it should be two. Yeah, and they'll be disappointed not to be two up because it'll it'll nearly see them out two goals here tonight because I'm put my head on the block and say they won't concede two goals. But empty, um, they, they can't find it. So listen, it's it's still game on. It's that horrible scoreline that you know it's it's one nil. For Dylan Watts. Now Kenny. He's given that away to away. And now Dylan Grimes with a chance to open his legs and charge forward. And he's found Dara Markey here. Markey just couldn't get it under control. A wheel's there. Oh, oh, that might be trouble. That's a second yellow card. It's going to be trouble for Lee Grace. Referee straight to his notebook. Is it red? Is it yellow? Is he? Is Lee Grace is, he is already booked. Yeah, yeah. And the referee has gone to his pocket. And it would appear that for the second week in a row, Shamrock Rovers are down to 10 men in the hour. Lee Grace off. It's crazy what he does on a yellow card. I don't think he can have any complaints. As soon as he did it, no, it looked at the very least like a yellow yeah, card, yeah. maybe more. Yeah, I can see it now here. Oh. He's time to think, he's time to make the decision. He makes the decision to go to ground. It's not an instant, it's not a clash between two players. He makes the decision to go to ground there on a yellow card. And so many players between Alicia Owe, who's a fullback, not a striker or a forward player, between him and the, the penalty here and the goal. And uh, really a massive opportunity. Shamrock Rovers with four in the wall and the customary draft excluder behind it. And Dale Rooney! Well! Oh, and for a moment I thought it snuck in behind. I think Manus Alan gets Manus. out of jail. I, th I don't know what he's done. He's, got, he's nearly turned his back on it. It's, oh, I have to see this again. For a moment it looked I think like it's it had bitten in. him. Yeah, I think it's... Here's Dale Rooney with the effort. Struck it well. Oh, he's gone with How has he kept it out? Really unconventional goalkeeping by Alan Jeez. Manis, but it works. But it says out, yeah. Daniel Cleary. Dylan Grimes cuts it out. Tara Markey controls. Good ball. Ryan Brennan into a challenge oh, with Daniel got, Cleary. Oh. And Cleary's going to get a second yellow here. And he is gone. And that one, in my opinion, a little harsher than the last. 
Not sure he knew all that much about. I'd like to see it again. And Rovers. There's not too many players complaining about it. You can usually see off your own players' reactions. Rovers shorn of a second player here. Dan Cleary sent off now. Let's see, after only being booked. Oh. Just stick the boot in, perhaps. It looks intent as he goes to do it, but whether he's actually committed the crime, uh, it's hard to see. This, the referee is very close, but that's all I'll say. There's not too many Shamrock Rovers players complaining about it. Might get another look at all three goals just for Sligo Rovers. UCD two, Sligo Rovers three. Are we with the header? Here's a Dagbuyega. Really good pa here. pass yeah. with the outside of his boot. Now it's Warren Davis. Davis Come cuts out. it back, finds still and Grimes. Cross comes in. Dealt with by Rovers, only half dealt with. Gary Deegan with the shot. Oh, and who's it going to fall for it in there? Here it is. Chance here for oh, Jordan. And it's it Jordan. It's Ryan Brennan. Listen oh, to the roar. Great strike. We talked about important goals. He pops up at them. It's Ooh. a clean strike. Top of the foot, straight through it. Ryan Brennan gets the equaliser and Drona now fancy a winner perhaps. Yeah, they'll want it, they'll want the ball, they have it back in the spot, and they'll want it. 89 minutes. Ryan Brennan. It's when the moment, when the opportunity presented itself, Ryan Bryan was ready for it. We talked about it, getting the ball wide. Rovers can't get out there, they're down to nine men, they're nearly having to sacrifice and allow the cross to come into the box, try to bend them. They're at to get caught. And now the question is, how much time will be on that board when it's held up in a moment? Time by the fourth chance. official. All this a chance. Rovers have to be resolute. Oh, try to be too clever with it. Meach Deegan. They're getting, Colin McCabe. they're getting joy from balls in the box. Put it in the box. McCabe. Long and direct towards Connor Keeley, who's kicked. He's, 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 he's won it. Oh, there's a chance for Dylan Grimes. What a tackle and he's by Gannon. It. What a challenge by Sean Gannon to oh, put it behind. What a touch. I think he's just getting on the end of it. It's a great knockdown. Keeley was going to win it all the to all way all day long. He was winning that knockdown, and it's a good knockdown as well. Dylan Grimes thought he'd won it. Draw his supporters thought he'd won it. He has it. In it goes by Markey. The cross oh. goes. And it begins. I think Biegi's gone down. It's a scramble in there, and oh it's gone behind God. again. And draw the United appealing for a penalty They're kick. Going. And they may yeah. well have a claim, Paul. Well, if you see the players' reaction, that's the first thing I look at all the time. Seconds away, surely, from the referee's final whistle. Sean Grant. He's allowing it to continue. No, he's not. Whistle to his lips, and he brings what's been an enthralling match to a conclusion here a share of the spoils and that's just about the right result I think it's fair to say although draw the United applied huge of pressure but Shamrock Rovers held out in the latter stages of the match largely after Ryan Brennan's late equaliser